Chattanooga is a pioneering smart city in the United States and one of the leading cities in Tennessee when it comes to electric vehicles. But do you know that more charging infrastructure is being built by the day? A lot of us are aware of electric vehicles on the road um, and charging stations, but how much do we really know about them? In today's episode, we're gonna hit the streets and talk to people about EVs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Welcome to Chaw Guide, sharing Chattanooga's positive news. I'm your host, Jeff Milner. I work here at the Enterprise Center, where we're focused on building an advanced and inclusive future, um, working together with people, organizations, and technology, um, and, and transforming this community. Going forward, I am so excited to continue bringing you news about smart cities in Chattanooga. Today's content is brought to you by TVA, um, in partnership with our friends at Carta and EPB. In 2020, Chattanooga was chosen as only one of two cities in the United States during the Smart City Expo World Congress um, to pioneer the G20 Global Smart Cities Alliance Policy Roadmap. What does that mean for Chattanooga and our local infrastructure? Today's episode is first in a series about Chattanooga as a smart city, and we're gonna focus on electric vehicles. As I mentioned earlier, we are actually gonna hit the streets today and talk to people, find out how much they know about electric vehicles and charging infrastructure. So let's go. So what state is number one in the Southeast and number three in the country in manufacturing electrical vehicles? Is it Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, or Alabama? Alabama. Is it Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina or Alabama? I'm gonna say Alabama. Is it Georgia, Tennessee, South Carolina, or Alabama? Alabama. Alabama. Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, or Alabama? I'm gonna guess Tennessee. You're the first person to figure out that that was gonna be the answer. Is actually Tennessee, right here in Tennessee. Number one in the, in the Southeast. Uh, an electrical vehicle can reduce your carbon footprint by how much? 5%, 10%, 25%, or 50%? 50%. Absolutely, 50%. Uh, how quickly can you charge an EV using a fast charger? 30 minutes, an hour, four hours, or eight hours? Say eight hours. 30 minutes. Lot, lot faster, a lot faster than you thought. 30 minutes, an hour, four hours, or eight hours? I think an hour. Uh, I was gonna say 30 minutes. You are right, you are right. It is just 30 minutes. Uh, how often do you need to change the spark plugs in an electrical vehicle? <laughs> uh, six months. <laughs> it's a, it doesn't have spark plugs. How often do you have to change the oil in an electric vehicle? Uh, I don't know because I don't know if it even has oil. That is the correct answer. <laughs> how many charging stations are there in Chattanooga? 55? 73, 138, or 146? That many at all? <laughs> um, 75. It is actually 146. Wow, all right. right? Well, you're teaching me. <laughs> yeah, I'm teaching you some stuff. <laughs> um, and one final question. So at low speeds, EVs are so quiet, they're required to make noise for safety. If you could have it sound like anything, what would it sound like? Oh man, I don't know, a spaceship? Something. Can you make the noise? Zoop. Know, like a humming? Like a humming? Yeah. You wanna make it? Quiet humming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sound at least like a motorcycle or sure. a golf cart. <laughs> or a golf cart. Can you make that noise for us? <laughs> Can I make that golf cart? No. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, there is still more we can do to make people aware about electric vehicles and charging infrastructure here in Chattanooga. Here at the Enterprise Center, together with Cha Guide, we're gonna continue raising awareness about how Chattanooga is an EV-friendly city, as well as other exciting smart city initiatives. And as I promised, um, you can be the first to test drive Volkswagen's new electric vehicle, the ID4, which by the way, manufactured right here in Chattanooga. All you need to do is go to chargingchattanooga.com, 
take a quick five question quiz testing your knowledge of electric vehicles and you'll be entered to win. Uh, and for you startup founders and entrepreneurs, uh, our friend Leah has a quick announcement about Basecamp before we go. Hi guys, I'm Leah Kimbrough here. You may know me as your friendly face at the Edney Innovation Center. And I'm here to talk about Basecamp. Something really cool and exciting happening over at Waterhouse Pavilion and Miller Plaza. It is your, co your monthly co-working event starting this month, well actually a few weeks from now uh, in June, ending in September leading up to Startup Week. So we have a whole bunch of programming, really cool programming for you guys, starting off with uh, One Million Cups at 9 a.m. You come enjoy a real good cup of coffee from Goodman's and here you can take us back. And then at lunch we have experience talks as well as free lunch. Uh, so come enjoy a quick snack and listen to experts talk about HR and business. And then at the end, we have a happy hour with Bitter Alibi. They're going to provide beer and wine and cool, um, a cool environment for you to network. And we're going to be interviewing creatives. So you might ask yourself, how can I join all these fun activities that are about to happen? Well, you can go to basecampcha.eventbrite.com to RSVP today. This is Cha Guide, where we talk about Chattanooga's positive news. Subscribe. Oh, God. This is Cha Guide, where we talk about Chattanooga's positive news. Subscribe, follow, or download the app.